what happened was every time I went live, the part of the screen where the comments go, it was showing me the weather and I couldn't get the weather off there. Hi, Vias. I've been practicing your name. <laughs> I hope I got it right. Happy Sunday to everyone. Again, forgive me for being late, but I wouldn't have been able to read your comments had I not shut down my phone and started over again. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Lizette. Hey, your, Lord, your lost dad, 1983. Oh, Winnie's here. Hola. Hey, Eric. If I missed anyone, put your put high in again so I can see you. It's blurry. Hey, Ethan. Hey, Eric. All right, Vias. Okay, I think there might have been one or other, one or two other people I missed. Hey, Savior Jensen's world. Hi, Dustin. Um, I'm doing much better than last week. Last week I was sick. Hi, Mickey. <clears throat> Welcome. Oh, someone else. Oh, back. Heck yeah. Someone else wants to say hi. Say hi to boys. Good morning, Eric. This video was, I mean, this live was sponsored by Freedoms. Get your bag today. <laughs> no, don't get your bag today. Fan of Foxy and Link. In Italy, it's afternoon. Well, wonderful. It's 8 a.m. here. It's a little after 8 a.m. Hey, Giovanna. Welcome. Okay. Prashu. Did I say your name right? Prashu. Um... You're getting some high Timmies. Hey, Mark. Hey, Angela. Hey, Nina. Hey, Frank. Oh, wait. Frank told me to do this thing. Okay, let's see if it worked. Uh, there we go. I think I did it, Frank. You let me know if it works. Hey, Lily. Hey, Am Amarion. Okay, so the question of today, did you see the question? Is it good not to have enemies? What do you guys think? You think life would be better if you didn't have enemies? Congratulations, welcome to the team. All right, emblem, hello. Amarion, Amarion, hello. Okay, so do you think it's good if you don't have enemies? Any ideas? I'm gonna answer, hey Shadowlink360, hey Maddie. Goodbye, world. Um, I'm going to answer all of your questions once you answer mine. Okay, Winnie says it's better to have enemies. Why? Why is it better to have enemies than not have enemies? Uh, I think if we didn't have enemies, then there would be no one putting us down or trying to hurt us. <laughs> Lily says her enemy's Donald Trump. Okay, I'm not sure why. Oh, happy birthday, Moonlight Creator. Woohoo! I hope you celebrate. Um, Madhu says, enemies are better than fake friends. All right, I have something I want to read you from the book that you know I like to read from. Poems with power to strengthen the soul. All right. All right, let's talk about enemies. Okay. Nina says, they push me to be better. Gia, my moon. Hi, how are you? Winnie says, enemies are a part of life. Um, Lily says, Trump led to, the, led to the economic recession. He did? I thought COVID did that. All right, well, let's not get into politics because that's not my channel. We don't do that here. We talk about bettering our lives. And if we better our lives and the lives of those around us, the whole world will get better. So let's focus on ourselves and not pointing blame. Oh, someone said, when's the first time you were reading this book? I lately have been reading this, something from this on every live stream. This book is over 100 years old. Hey, Lizette, I don't even know if you can get it anymore. But I saw this poem, and it's just a little paragraph. It's just a stanza, and it's called No Enemies. He that has no enemies, you say. Wait, he has. Oh, no. Boop. He has no enemies, you say. My friend, your boast is poor. He who hath mingled in the fray of duty 
doing what he is supposed to do out in the fight, that the brave endure, he who hath mingled in the fray of duty that the brave endure must have made foes. Hey, John. Hey, Anya. Hey, Jonathan. So, he has no enemies, you say. My friend, your boast is poor. He who hath mingled in the fray of duty that the brave endure must have made foes. If he has none, listen to this. If you have no enemies, listen to this. Hey, Buthina. Small is the work he has done. You hear that? If you have no enemies, small is the work that he has done. He has hit no traitor in the hip. He has cast no cup from tempted lip. He has never turned the wrong to right. He has been a coward in the fight. This is saying if you don't have any enemies, you haven't really been in the thick of the battle. You haven't been getting rid of the enemies. You haven't been casting the cup from tempted lip, trying to get your brother or sister or friend not to sin. You have been a coward in the fight. If you didn't step up to the plate and show that traitor that they were doing wrong, got rid of that person that was trying to hurt another, you haven't fought back against someone, then small has been your work. I'm gonna read it again from the top. He has no enemies, you say. My friend, your boast is poor. He who hath mingled in the fray of duty that the brave endure, must have made foes. If he has none, small is the work that he has done. He has hit no traitor in the hip. He has cast no cup from tempted lip. He has never turned the wrong to right. He has been a coward in the fight. If you guys don't have people out there who hate you, who are mad at you, who are putting you down. You know, people don't like to be shown the right way. People don't like to, they, people want to stay wallowing in their sin. People wanna stay doing things that are wrong. Do you think these people who kidnap kids and do stuff, do you think if you try to snatch one of those kids back, you're gonna create an enemy? Yeah, I hope so. If you're out doing things that require bravery to defend those who cannot defend themselves, you better believe you're gonna make some enemies. We have friends who were actually rich, successful business people here in America. They sold everything they had to go to Thailand and start a home over there, and they rescue children out of brothels. Do you think they have enemies? Oh, do they have enemies? Sometimes they go into places even the police won't go to save these children. So, I want you to think about creating some enemies this week. <laughs> Not that that's something you go out and do, but it happens along the way when you're doing what you know to be right. All right. Let's get to your questions now. All right, so hopefully, here's my handsome husband over there. Hopefully your enemies are because you're out doing what's right, you're out doing God's business, and not just because you're not a nice person. <laughs> Okay. Yes, Jarell says, I got my glass of water this time. I, indeed. Indeed, I did. Catherine Norlin is so inspired. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Frank said, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Yes, I do have enemies. Um, someone says, she used to wear a wig, I think. Oh, some of the videos, you guys see me, if you guys are referring to some of the Darn Man videos, sometimes I wear wigs because I think certain characters should look a certain way. 
Um, I don't think every character I play should look just like me. I know, Winnie, I'm glossy. I didn't have time to put foundation or powder on, so this is just moisturizer and sunscreen, so if I look a little too shiny, forgive me. Okay, somebody asked why am I the bad guy in most Darman videos. <laughs> I would say it's half and half. <laughs> I shot two good ones, two good characters in the last month and two bad characters. Jarell asks why my husband isn't in the videos. He's a behind the scenes guy. He's not a front of the camera guy. He likes to operate the camera and apparently I like to stand in front of it. <laughs> it's kind of the way it's always been. But I don't know if you guys saw that one I put up on Instagram a couple weeks ago. We, we got a sneak peek of him. I think you got a sneak peek of him of the one where he bought the car too. Okay, Andre, am I saying your name right? Andre, Andre Jun said he loved the one with the um, autistic boy. Um... Oh, Winnie's asking me for some beauty tips. Um, hmm. Beauty tips. Ah. Uh, I wish I wish I had some. Uh, always moisturize. Try to wear sunscreen. I just started doing that. I wish I would have sooner. I would have saved myself from looking as old as I do now if I had been wearing moisturizer. So kids, wear moisturizer. Um, okay, someone's letting me know they ate bacon and it was so good. Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> okay, uh, you look shiny. Yes, that's what we were just talking about. I didn't have time to put powder on. Gordon, Gordon wants to be noticed. We notice you. Hello, Gordon. Okay, Vios wants to know why Aiden Mikas is doing drugs. Aiden Mikas is not doing drugs. However, he played a character in a Darman video, and his character was doing drugs. I ate all the Fritos. You ate all the Fritos? Yeah. Okay. Well, let, why don't you let Dad make you some decent breakfast? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, Emblem Dog Clan, my first time talking to Catherine. Well, welcome to my channel. Okay, is that cup huge? It's a trophy, I'd say. Well, last time I was very thirsty when we did a live stream and I had no water. Uh, Spy Ninja says, Catherine, you're my favorite actor. I love your videos. Thank you so much. Gordon says, hello. Oh, he's not doing drugs, finally. Okay, yeah, you guys know that the stuff that happens in the Darn Man videos is all from a script all made up out of the minds of Dar and whoever the co-writer is for that particular script. Oh, okay, yes, Angela said, Angela said the devil is an enemy. So if you guys love God, you all have at least one enemy and that's the devil. And whoever the devil has a hold on can become your enemy as well because sometimes people who don't love God will be listening to the enemy. So that person could, and it can be, it doesn't have to be an adult, it could be a kid. You could be at school and the devil might be whispering to this person and they say, go trip that kid or go push that kid or go tell them they look like that ugly losers, whatever. And if they're listening to the devil, they'll repeat it. So we have a choice. Are we going to listen to what God is telling us to say and do, or are we gonna to listen to what the devil is telling us to say and do? All right, Jitterbug said the devil's name is classified as Satan. Actually, wasn't his first name Lucifer? Back when he was in heaven and he was the angel of light? He was called Lucifer. Okay. Why did you cry at the end in the autistic kid video? Those were happy tears because I was so glad my kids were finally getting along and that my big boy was finally including my young boy. So, um, have you ever cried happy tears? Is that just a mom thing? Okay, hey Loretta, welcome. Good to see you this morning. All right, Andre said I know it was real. Okay, hey Catherine. Can you say, can you say there is no meme? I bet this is a joke. There is no meme. 
Okay, let's wait for the punchline. Okay, you used a different voice in a recent video where you played Miss Karen. Oh, I'm so glad you noticed. I worked really hard trying to do a subtle southern accent. I don't think I did, even did an accent this big. Well, I might have done a little bit of a southern accent because this seems to be pretty racist in the south. So since I was playing another Karen who was racist, I didn't want to keep doing the same character over and over. So I decided that this character should have a southern accent. So, Vias, 10 points for you for recognizing that I was using an accent in that one. Okay, you win that round. Okay, the same Megan commented, okay, your name is Karen because you act like a Karen in Darman videos. Yeah, my name is Catherine, but um, they, do have, they do have me play a lot of Karens. Okay, uh, Ethan says, oh my God, that was so good. Can you speak Uzbek? No, I cannot. Is there anyone who has completely lost your respect? Um, you know, I thought of a person who is not my friend anymore, but even them I can't even say has completely lost my respect because if they humbly came back to me and they apologized, I would probably give them another chance even though what they did was pretty bad. Um, you know, I think we're just human and we make mistakes. And the only people that I guess I would completely lose my respect for are people who, who hurt others on purpose, intentionally. Uh, how did Marcus make his eyes red in the last drug video? Um, they had special drops. Um, special drops to make his eyes red. Uh, I don't know what they were, but they bought them off the internet. It was supposed to be safe to put in your eyes. His auntie tested them out first. Um, no, I did not. Somebody asked me if I went to Carl's funeral. I did. I was not available at the time. Uh, Catherine loves everyone, Angela said. Well, I do love everyone. I just don't like everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to spend my time with everyone. You have to qualify to be in my inner circle and you can't be negative. And also those in my inner circle kind of, they need to be go-getters as well. Um, they need to have a purpose and a mission. I don't, I'm not likely to hang out with someone who's lazy. Okay. Uh, someone asked, why are my eyes different colors? Well, I was born that way. Um, let's see, is it true you can't like everyone because not everyone can be trusted? Um, I don't know if that's like a hard and fast rule, but it's true not everyone can be trusted. The only person who can be trusted is God. So we are not called to trust everyone. God calls us to love everyone and to honor everyone. So that's actually something I'm writing about right now in lesson seven of my online course. Um, I'm breaking down the three most common mistakes people make in their relationships. And one of them is trying to be a people pleaser instead of a God pleaser. Um, second key point in that lesson is it's not selfish to love yourself. And I haven't started writing on the third yet, but I'm breaking down the difference of how we're not supposed to have fear of man. We're not supposed to be afraid of any human or person. We're only supposed to have fear, the good kind of fear, which is like a sovereign reverence and awe for God. We're not supposed to have that for people. For people, we're just supposed to love and honor them. You don't have to trust all people. Trust is something that has to be established and it has to be earned. Okay, your voice is really beautiful, Catherine. Can I ask where you're from? I grew up in Minnesota, USA, and now I live in California, USA. My ancestors on my mom's side are Norwegian 
and my ancestors on my dad's side are Swedish, Irish, English, and Danish. Okay, do you have any annoying habits? Rob, do I have any annoying habits? Yes. Yes, leaving the cover doors open? Leaving is that... the cover doors open. Um, yeah, that's the main one right now. I leave cover doors and drawers open. After you're done using them. <laughs> After I'm done using them. It's like I think they're shut. I like sort of shut them. I don't have a follow through on shutting cover doors. Now you guys know my dirty little secret. <laughs> straight from the hubster's mouth and he's so annoyed by it <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so let's get back to your questions okay have you ever been a voice actor in a game or a movie um i feel like i've done voiceover work in movies but it, it i don't know the name of it right now it would escape me I don't think I've ever done a game, although one time someone was going to base a video game character on my look. I don't know if they ever ended up doing it. Uh, you can hear Elijah there in the other room watching cartoons. Okay, can you tell me hi? Is it Kador? Coder? Coder? Hi, Coder. I really hope I'm saying your name right. Good morning, Sarah. Okay. How do you look like smiling? I don't know what that means. Do you have any annoying habit? You mean besides the cupboard doors? Uh, I don't know. I'll, if I think of it, I'll let you know. Uh, was the blood on Marcus's face real? Was it water or paint? Okay, so here's what happened. These drops that make your eyes look bloodshot, he got too many in his eyes and he had to they were wearing off so quick and his eyes were turning white that we had to like quick put the drops in and then quick shoot and i think he put the drops in and then his head was down when he took the sunglasses off and i think they just dripped out of his eye so it looked like he was bleeding but it was the bloodshot eye drops that didn't <sighs> some you know we do our best we tried <laughs> we tried <laughs> we tried to make that work Okay, what's the favorite character you've played to date? Um, do you mean in Darman movies specifically or just in my entire acting career? Because you guys seem to think Darman is the only thing I've ever done, but I've been in 150 other films before Darman. Okay, uh, so I've been acting for Darman since 2018. Have you ever met Sniper Wolf in person? Ethan? I was supposed to on at least two occasions now. I was actually supposed to be in the Sniper Wolf Barbie video game one. They asked me to be in it. Unfortunately, I was shooting another project and they coincided uh, for somebody else, but then they canceled that. And I told Ruben, I'm available now, I could do it. And they said, oh, sorry, we already cast it because you weren't available. Okay, now we just shot another one. We just shot another one, and I was supposed to be in the scene with her. She was supposed to bring me in, and guess what happened? The schedule got all messed up. I was on my way to set, and they said, oh, come tomorrow, we need you tomorrow, not today. So I came the next day, I'm like, I'm finally gonna get to meet Sniper Wolf. Well, she flew home the day before. So if I would have come when they told me to come, if they hadn't switched the schedule, I would have met her. So no, twice I was foiled and not met her. Haven't met Aiden. Mark, do you watch the Darman videos? I've played his mother a gazillion times. First video he ever did was with me playing his mom, making him homemade sandwiches. Okay. Gia, my moon, do you think you are a good actor on Darman Studios? Well, I do my best, and they keep asking me to come back, so I must not be too bad. <laughs> Your smile is amazing, Sour Sand says. Where do you get so much talent? I'm a big fan of yours. 
I just put all my heart and soul in it. <gasps> Orly's here! Yeah, I didn't get to read your comment. It went by so fast, but hi, Orly. Orly's one of my favorites, along with Angela. <gasps> I have favorites? Say it ain't so. So's Amber. Got some of my three favorites. Now, they're my, 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 doesn't matter. You heard nothing. Okay, when are you going to do a house tour? Little secret for you. You guys have seen almost every room in my house because we've shot Darman videos here before he had the studios. So, who can guess which videos were shot in my house? The alcoholic dad one, the one where the dad <laughs> wouldn't finish what he started, um, the one where I was the redhead cheating on my husband, the one where my husband was cheating on me with Giovanna, that was shot here, uh, the one where I was a nurse and I had two daughters, that was shot here, probably a couple more. Yes, Vias, the one where my husband plays Fortnite, that was shot in my house. So you just have to go back and watch the Darn Man videos and you will get a house tour. <laughs> I dare you to shout at everyone like a teacher. I'm, I'm happy you're feeling better. Oh, thank you, Orly. She's happy I'm feeling better. Were you yes, I was supposed to be the Barbie one with Sniper Wolf, but I got booked another job and it conflicted. Okay, what is the green behind you? Okay, so this is my green screen. This is where I have been shooting my upcoming course called You Are Worthy, where you will discover your value, learn to love yourself, and become who you were meant to be. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping that will be released in June, and I will do a pre-sale in May. That's the goal. Okay, so uh, Kaz Nation Studios asks, how do you audition for Darman? I've seen him put casting notices up on Backstage and also on LA Casting. So if you are a member of those sites for acting, you should see, um, you should see um, casting notices come up. And if there's one you're right for, you submit to it. Okay, uh, the rude girl being rude to the waitress in your credit card, what about it? Unfortunately, I gotta take off. Okay, bye Frank, thanks for coming. Catherine, let's see. My mom got me interested in Darman. I love it and I love you and Darman. Keep up the good work, thank you so much. Somebody wants me to talk about India, Manasseh. I, I don't really know anything about India to be able to talk about it. Maybe you could talk about it on your channel. Okay. All right, I'm going to ask a question. Okay, but it went by too fast. Catherine, I got a question for you. Uh, do you know about Prince Philip's funeral? I heard about it. I don't know when it is or anything. How do you deal? Eggman wants to know, how do you deal when someone has betrayed you? Um, how do you deal with it in what way? Are you talking about dealing with the person who has betrayed you or dealing with your emotions? after being betrayed. Can you be more specific? Okay. Ayush wants to know any Marvel or DC superhero that, I don't know, I think it, that I would like to play in the future. I don't know because I don't really follow comics. All right, when is the next one with Sniper Wolf supposed to be? I don't know when they're gonna release it because, you know, Darman is like 40 videos ahead. 50 videos ahead. He's got a bunch stacked up so they can release whatever one they want whenever they want. So I never know when they're gonna come out anymore. Back when I started with the company, they only had a crew of two people. And they were, sometimes they were so far behind, they wouldn't even make their posting schedule. Sometimes they were so far behind, Ruben would shoot all day no, he would shoot all night, edit all day to be able to post it that day. And he just never slept. He's still kind of not really sleeping, but no. He's getting more sleep now. Now they have two crews. So it went from only having two people on the production team to now they have two full crews and they shoot a video in the morning 
and they shoot a video at night. So they are rocking it. They're, they're, they went from pumping out two or three videos a week to four videos a week and to now maybe, maybe six to eight videos a week, potentially, if they, well, maybe not that many because the scripts are getting longer and they're ending up having two day shoots. Yeah, I'd say they're probably shooting four to six videos a week now. Okay. Okay, go to sleep, get some rest. What was your first role on a TV show? Probably the most recognizable role on a TV show was when I was on an episode of Malcolm in the Middle, Miss Tri-County. Have you ever seen Dar Man Spanish videos? No, I haven't. What, which friend character is your favorite? Friend character. You know, I, they, they don't really have me have friends in the, in the Dar Man videos. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to say Ricky. Um, yeah, Ricky's my good friend in the Darman videos. Okay, I love your acting in Darman. Thank you so much. Uh, have I met? Yes, I've met the uh, Vias. I've met the girl you're talking about. We worked together two weeks ago. Yeah, we worked together two weeks ago. And that one is going to have Sniper Wolf in it. That's all I can say. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question, joke. Uh, I missed it. Okay. Guys, just write what you're going to say, because if you start out telling me I'm going to ask you a question, and, and then I read that part, and then it goes away before I actually get to the question. Okay. What is a room in your house that you never want to die in? Okay, here's a joke. I don't know. I guess you'll tell me. By the way, I like your eyes. I've never seen that before. It's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, if you want the answer, say answer. Okay, what's a room in the house you never want to die in? Okay, you'll tell me. Are you actually emotional when you... Oh, sweetheart, no, I don't want to eat that. Why? Because you know I don't eat that kind of stuff. Sorry. I got to take care of myself. You want to put garbage in your body? That's up to you, but I, I don't, I'm not going to eat those sugary cereal bars with dairy in. I don't, I don't do that. But you always are talking to us clients. I don't want to eat that. I'm sorry. Thank you for offering. You're very sweet and you're very kind and considerate. Okay. Okay, any country you would like to visit alone before you die? I don't know why I would want to go alone to another country. Always more fun to have people with you. Oh yeah, I like Sophia too. Have you, um, are you actually emotional when you cry in the Darman videos? Well, you have to be emotional to cry. Yeah, I get very emotional in the Darman videos. And sometimes it's hard to stay in those emotions because there's stuff going on all around you. People are coming and going, the crew's making jokes. And sometimes it's hard to stay in that place emotionally, you have to stay to convey what you want to convey because of all the stuff going on around you. Which Darman characters do you identify with the most and the least? No, I do not fake cry, I real cry. Um, I do not identify with the racist characters. I just, ugh, I can't stand when I have to play those. That's why the last one I did with a with a southern accent, because I was like, that is not me. I can't be, I don't want to play those characters. But somebody's got to do it to get the message across. Okay. Um, have you ever met Anjali? Yes, she's such a sweetheart. I've worked with her a few times. Do I ever want to visit Britain? Sure, why not? I will go wherever my husband wants me to go. He's the traveler. I like to stay home and just sit on my computer and write poetry. <laughs> Jarell asks, do you ever want to be in a movie? Um, I used to want to be in movies really bad. Um, now I'm like, eh, you can take it or leave it. I want to make a movie. I'm um, actually going to be 
God willing, directing my first movie in the next year or so. If I can get all the funding, no, not if. When I get all the funding for the project, I will be a movie director and I will not be acting in it. I will be running the show. Okay, the room in the house that you never want to die in uh, is the living room. Okay, do you get it? You never want to die in the living room. I mean, I get it's the opposite, living and dying, but I, I kind of don't think it's funny. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna laugh. Okay, I'll laugh. <laughs> All right, you never wanna die in the living room. Got it. Can you bring a better joke next week? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, baseball or football, which one is your favorite? Um, I don't watch either, but I used to be a football cheerleader back in high school. I cheered for the football team. That was not a good experience. Okay, have you done a Darman video with Carl Judy before he passed? I've done several. As a matter of fact, hi, sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. Okay. As a matter of fact, the first Darman video I was ever in uh, was with Carl. Okay. Visit West Australia. Okay. Now my mom wants to go to Austria. I haven't even thought about setting up that trip yet. Okay, favorite, what's my favorite Hollywood franchise? As in, as in movies with multiple parts? Mmm, movies with multiple parts. I don't know off the top of my head. I seem to really like single, like standalone movies. Um... I, my husband would say Star Wars if you asked him. And my son, Timothy, he would say Pirates of the Caribbean if you asked him. I personally can't think of a movie that has, like, franchise that I like. Okay, question. Is Julia cursing in the chat? I don't know. I'm not always looking at the chat. I thought I had a, uh, I thought I had a moderator. Well, one moderator had to go. I thought my moderator, Amber, was on here. Maybe she's not. Okay, what is what is a dream place to go? Mine is Japan. Um, I always kind of wanted to go to Thailand. Uh, answer my question. Have you met Ricky? I've absolutely met Ricky. Ricky's the one who got me my job. Well, she's the one who got me my... Oh, she's the one, you want the sweetheart? Yeah. She's the one who got me my audition for Darman. Okay. Ricky got me my audition for Darman, and they liked what I did, and so they hired me. Okay. Lily says her dream place is America. Um, how old do you have to be to act in Darman? Well, my one-year-old acted in it. I don't think there's an age limit. They... They tend to rather work with teens than younger kids because <laughs> younger kids are a wild card. Um, okay. Let's see. All right, see if that worked, VF Ma Mahmoud. All right. You can stop asking me now. You see you have a wrench, visor. Okay, so your job now is to keep people who are swearing, to put them in timeout. People who are saying inappropriate things, put them in timeout. Okay, have you ever played Jackbox TV? I lost, I don't know what that was saying. Okay, calm your farm visor. I don't know what that means. When are you doing a meet and greet? You know what? Dar was talking about doing meet and greets, but it has to, um, <laughs> that's a good point, Winnie. Winnie says the moderator keeps spamming. Okay. Just, you know, send the message once. If I don't get it, send it again, but you don't have to do it 20 times in a row. Okay. What is my favorite dessert? Chocolate. Gotta say chocolate. Chocolate, 
and I maybe like a chocolate mousse, like a vegan chocolate mousse made out of like tofu or avocado. Have, have you ever had that? It's pretty good. Um, I love it when you play the mother of Aiden. Um, Lily likes strawberries. Uh, what is your favorite animal? Um, I like turtles. Um, but as far as cuddly animals, I like dogs. Um, Cyborg says they're a big fan of the Darman videos. Meet and greets, but once COVID is, yep. You still don't know how to spell my name. Well, that ain't nice. Well, my God. I can't please everyone, can I? And forgive me everyone in advance if I don't say your name right. I'm not perfect, and if I have not heard it, I can only do my best. So, all right. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, Lily asks if I can play an instrument. Um, I played cornet just for like one year in high school. And then my brother, like, I don't know if I lost interest in it or if it was, I just stopped playing because my brother s took my cornet, sold it at the pawn shop. So a cornet, Harry, you are. He sold it at the pawn shop. So uh, a cornet is like a smaller version of a trumpet. Okay, this isn't fair, let me go. Vias, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Okay, what is your favorite Darman video that you're in? Um, I kind of, I, I go back and forth on different ones, but I kind of like the Christmas one uh, a lot where um, Ricky, brought her homemade cookies and I was making fun of them. All right, favorite television show to watch? Right now I've been watching a show called Eureka on Amazon Prime. What is my dream car? Um, Probably Tesla SUV. What is your favorite thing to do? Write poetry? Perform poetry. Perform poetry. Um, Favorite web series? Well, I'm gonna have to say Darman. I mean, I don't actually really watch any other web series, so, so I have nothing to compare it to. Okay, if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Probably fruit. Okay, what's your favorite breakfast? Probably fruit. <laughs> um, Here's okay. the question. Mommy's addicted to chocolate toast corns. I saw who eat it 24 seven, sometimes. So you saw me eat chocolate toast crunch? Yeah, yeah I did. Are you outing me? Yeah. Telling, tell, telling them I ate some junk food? Yes, you did. <laughs> Mommy didn't eat cinnamon toast crunch balls now. <laughs> uh, Visor VF says, I think I've seen your house. A million times, because you always stream from a different room. <laughs> Lily says, I will eat chili oil dumplings. Okay, if you were president of the USA for a month, what w I'm guessing it's saying, what would you do? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I probably would turn all, my hair would all turn gray, and I would be just in shock, and I wouldn't even know where to begin, probably. I can't imagine. That would not be my calling for sure. What do you do on routine? I'm not sure what you mean by that. What do I do on routine? Does that mean like my morning routine or? Um, have I ever visited India? I have not. My girlfriend has been there many times. Oh, I have to clarify. My friend, who's a girl. See, back when I grew up, you would just say girlfriend, but now I've said girlfriend on a live stream and somebody thought I had a girlfriend that was not a friend, but was more than a friend. Okay. That just sounded really stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, so somebody's saying, please come to India. Okay. What is your favorite poem or joke you've wrote or made? I don't really write jokes. Um, I got a lot of favorite poems. I got three books worth. 
<laughs> okay, what does the blue wrench do? The blue wrench makes it so you have the power to put somebody in a timeout if they're spamming or if they're um, using bad language or being inappropriate. You and Ricky are the best at crying in Darman. Ricky is a, she's phenomenal. She's, a, I remember one we had to do, um, we had to do one where uh, basically she cried the entire time. She cried the entire time and my character didn't even notice. Like, so self-absorbed was this character. My character's like, oh my God, I just got engaged. Oh my gosh, I just got a raise at work. Oh my gosh, it was like me, all about me. And, and then I'm like, oh, this is important. She, every time she would try to tell me what was going on with her, I was like, oh, and this and this, and oh, isn't this great for me? And oh, this is a phone call, this is an important call. I gotta go take this call. And I come back to this note she left and basically she has cancer and she's dying. And I was so into my thing that I didn't even let her tell me. Okay, yes, Winnie, that is the correct. Girlfriend equals female friend. <laughs> okay, Breaking Bad or House of Card, which one is your favorite? Um, I don't, I honestly, I've only seen maybe one episode of each, so I, I couldn't even tell you. Okay, not having an enemy is like a double-edged sword. Say hi um, to boys. What is your favorite Netflix series? I don't have a favorite Netflix series. I don't really watch. I don't watch Netflix all that much. The favorite, the favorite series um, I've ever watched was called Drop Dead Divas. This is my the favorite series I've watched in the last few years. It was just fun. Okay, someone asked me if I've ever been to an Arab country. Up until two years ago, I had only ever been to Mexico which I drove to one day, since I live in California, and I had only ever been to Canada, um, which my husband and I drove to once when I lived in Minnesota. I have not been into an Arab country, but my brother just got back last week from Egypt. Does that count? Um, he was all, all over, all the surround, Egypt and all the surrounding areas. He went with his girlfriend who really is his girlfriend. <laughs> you see how this gets confusing. Um, yeah, she was, um, they were nervous because she's Asian and there's been a lot of, as you guys know, a lot of Asian hate going on since the COVID. So she was worried, um, you know, they have to take a COVID test before they leave. And she was, they were worried that what if she has it or what if, you know, what if they have to be separated and she has to be alone. So, my brother actually speaks Chinese. His girlfriend's not Chinese though. His girlfriend is Hmong. Um, but it's funny because my brother will go to like Chinese restaurants and he'll order in Chinese. And my brother, blonde hair, blue eyes. And the, um, the parents who run these restaurants, they get so shocked that this blonde hair, blue eyed guy is speaking Chinese in Minnesota where it's not like, it's not a common language. And so they'll go, they'll go get their kids and they'll bring their kids out and say, what, why won't you speak Chinese? This, this guy speaks Chinese and he's not even Chinese. Why don't you want to learn your culture? Why don't you want to learn your language? <laughs> that happens to him all the time. Um, I've known Ricky, you know, I met her years. Mm -hmm. Do you have something to say? I met her years ago on the internet, but we didn't, I don't think we actually met in person until we did a Darman video together. Okay, when are you coming next in Darman video? I've shot, I've shot two that they haven't aired yet, so hopefully it's coming soon. Okay, can we talk about today's topic? Is it good to have enemies? We talked about that at the beginning, but if, if you guys have more to say on it, I would love to. Uh, I would suggest to everyone to watch a movie called Amish Grace. It's about keeping the faith. Okay, Orly. Guys, watch Amish Grace. Uh, Orly, let us know what 
channel it's on. Is it on Prime? Is it on Netflix? Having an enemy is better than having unhelpful friends. That's true. It could be true. Uh, what is your childhood dream? Uh, you know, as a child, I think I wanted to be an entertainer. And I'm doing that. I guess my childhood dreams have come true. I think, you know, I was into, as a child, I would put on shows for my parents and for my mom's friends when they would come over and I would be dancing and lip syncing and doing little acting skits. And um, I think I might actually be living my childhood dreams. Who knew? Okay, bruh, who chimed out Gordon? I don't know, guys. I hope this doesn't turn into a thing. Okay, so someone wants to know how old I am, and actresses never tell. We never let our age out because then it would limit the roles we get to play as, a, as actors. Because once people think you're a certain age, you get locked in and they, you only get to play those characters. That has been my experience. I've told different directors and producers my age and then it made me not get the job. Or then I would say I was younger or older and then that would make me not get the job. So it's best just, you know what, to say, you say to the directors and the producers, you say, whatever age you think I am is fine with me. And then they decide if you look like you can play this certain role or not. Because sometimes you say a number and they go, oh, she's too old. Or you say a number and they go, oh, she's too young. So it's best to not even say, hey, Morgan. Okay, have you traveled to Hawaii before? Yes, I have. Um... About 10 years ago, I went to Hawaii for a stock trading workshop to learn how to trade in the stock market. I was taking classes to learn how to become a day trader. Um, we did still go to the beach and do some touristy stuff. It was fun. Okay, uh, somebody, re, whoever was just saying something about enemies, retype that in so I can read it. Is there any particular spot when you write? Um, I usually write in my office or I write in my bedroom. I would say most of my poems were composed in my bedroom. Okay, do you go to New Jersey? I have never been. An enemy will always keep you focused and alert. That's true. You gotta be on the lookout. Have you eaten rotini? That's a certain shape of pasta or kind of pasta? I'm not sure. Enemies today might be friends tomorrow, and the friends today might be enemies tomorrow. How true is that? That is a, a sad and shocking truth. Um, Jitterbug says they don't have any friends. Oh, you guys, I guys, be friends with Jitterbug. Jitterbug needs some friends, and I hope you guys are a good community to reach out. Which island did I go to in Hawaii? I probably went to the big island. Winnie asks tea or coffee. Tea all the way. I'm like the only one on set that does not drink coffee. Ugh. I can't stand the taste of coffee. I think it's so disgusting. Um, have you ever suffered from depression? Yes, I have. Oh, so they're saying rotini is an Indian dish. So I must be thinking of something different. Isn't there an Italian pasta called rotini as well? Okay, Ayush wants to know what my favorite verse in the Bible is. My goodness, there are so many. Um, probably today I would say it's, with God, nothing shall be impossible for you. Okay, fun, fun mashups, have a great day. Do I have enemies? Uh, I think I do, but I think a lot of them I don't know about. You know what I mean? Um, like there are people working behind the scenes trying to take you down. People who don't like you. People who are being influenced by Satan. People that just are not happy if you're succeeding and they're not. Sometimes people will be your enemy just because they wish they could have success and they don't. And when they see you have success, it makes them angry because they're petty and they're jealous. Oh, it's 12, 12.02, is that midnight? Yes, Winnie, I love tea. 
I drank tea. I, uh, starting last year, I started drinking tea every day. Before, I would just drink water and smoothies. Do you go to church every Sunday? I usually do. Today we're, today we're gonna watch it on live stream instead because I still have a little bit of a cough and a sore throat. As you guys know, I didn't do my live stream last week because I was sick. <coughs> so I'm amazed I've made it this long without coughing. Uh, Jitterbug said they just went to church. What makes you furious? You don't seem to get as angry in real life. I think injustice makes me furious. People who are treated poorly. Um, when someone mistreats kids, I get furious. Uh, Winnie asks ice cream or cake. Hmm. They kind of go together. Oh, if I had to pick one, I guess I would pick cake, but I kind of like them together. Uh, I don't know, Jordan, or I'm sorry, Gordon. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to, we'll do better next time. We'll do better next time. Okay, how long have you been a Darman actor? Since October 2018 was when I filmed my first one. Have you read any other holy book other than the Holy Bible? Um, roti is how you pronounce it. Okay, I don't think I've had that Indian dish. Tell me what's in it. Um, I think I've read bits and pieces of other holy books, but the Bible's my favorite. I have watched the movie Little Women. Yes, the one with... Um, Timmy, people are asking if you're in the background. You want to say hi again? Hi. <coughs> there he is. There's my cute boy. Uh, okay. So are bad things going on during COVID? Yeah. Um, we just lost our very, very, very close friend to COVID two days ago. Tim died. When Dad told me I was crying right now, I was doing like crying. He uh, he threw himself on the floor and was just sobbing, sobbing, sobbing. Um, Tim was my mentor. He was my acting coach. He would coach me on my roles. Um, yeah, he was my mentor for like 20 years. <clears throat> I haven't processed it yet. When I knew he when I knew he was sick and it wasn't looking good, I cried a lot. And then two days ago, when they took him off life support, I've just been kind of numb. He lived in my guest house, so <sighs> sometime this week I'm gonna have to clean out his room. His brother's flying in on Monday. Anyway, I um, have been trying not to talk about it because it's uh, hits you right there. <sighs> okay, so I do not want to end on a on a a sour down, depressing death note. So. Um, uh, Vios wants to know, uh, Vias wants to know how well I know Aiden Mikas. Um, I, I would say, not, I mean, I don't think I know anybody really from set really, really good. I mean, we have a good time. We joke around. We, we, t we talk about stuff, but you can never really fully know someone. Yes, Winnie Timmy is sleepy. I think you can never really know someone unless you really spend like a lot of time with them and talk to them and have deep, deep conversations with them. <sighs> Sorry, that's reminding me of Tim. It's reminding me of my friend who died two days ago. He probably knew me better than anybody. Okay, um, my coworkers are hard to learn deeply. 
Yeah, a lot of people will keep things private. They will keep they will keep things under wrap because they want to protect themselves. In workplaces, you're not allowed to make friends traditionally. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you chit chat on your breaks and sometimes there's time to talk. Um, oh, Jitterbug says, my dad calls me Jitterbug. Oh, that's really sweet. Jitterbug, are you a male or a female? Okay, if you ever asked to produce or star in a comedy movie series, would you do it? Absolutely, comedy's my favorite. I love comedy. I'm actually in development with a writer right now who's developing a comedy film for me to direct. Sorry, Miss Catherine, I got disconnected. I was asking, how do you deal with someone who betrayed you dealing with that person? Okay, is this somebody that you that you have to see? Is it somebody that you can not see? Or is this person who betrayed you someone that you're going to see at school or they're a family member, so you have to have that interaction with them? Let me know. Jitterbug's real name is Megan. Nice to meet you, Megan. I've been seeing you in Darman videos. That's amazing, thank you. Lily says, I have friends betray me. It was miserable. Me too, that's happened to me. Okay, so how do you deal with the loss of a best friend? How did you lose them? Was it by death or was it because they just decided not to be your friend anymore? Okay, do you speak any other languages than English? I took one year of Spanish in high school, but then I never used it and um, it didn't, um, I didn't have anywhere to practice. And then when I moved to California and a lot of people spoke Spanish, I would try to use the Spanish I learned, but the Spanish I learned in school was like, I think they called it Castilian Spanish, which is a different kind of Spanish than what they use, uh, than what they speak in Mexico. And a lot of um, Spanish speakers um, around this area are Mexican Spanish speakers. So when I would try to use my Spanish on them, they were like, what are you talking about, gringo? You don't know what you're talking about. So <laughs> a lot of the words and stuff I learned did not translate. Okay, so I didn't get to see if the person commented if this is somebody that they have to be around or not. Honestly, if it's somebody you have to be around, I would, um, Never leave the house till you're prayed up. And by prayed up, I mean you, you put on your armor and you say, God, I'm about to go out. I might have to see this person. I might face them. Give my heart strength. Give me courage. Protect me. Help me not have anxiety. Help me not to have any feelings of being sad. Help me not to, I would start just covering yourself in prayer. God, please don't let anything they say to me affect me. Don't let me seeing them get me upset or sad. And just really pray that God will cover you so that when you have to have that interaction with them, you don't spiral down. It's best if you can avoid them for a while till your heart heals. Um, it's also best not to, not to question everything. I know sometimes we want to make sense out of what happened. When someone betrays us, we'll, we'll be like, oh, why did they do that? How can they do that? I can't believe they did that. What did I do? I've never done anything to them. We, we just go through this loop in our mind. But I wonder why they did that. But did I do something? Did, are they going to forgive me? Is this happened because of this? Did this happen because of that? Um, somebody said my grandmother passed away one or two years ago. I will never forget her. Please pray for her. Okay. People will take that on. I'm sorry for your loss. So, but when you're betrayed, you have to, you have to protect your heart. You know, the Bible says protect your heart with all diligence for out of it spring the issues of life. All the issues that we're dealing with in life 
go through the heart. They pass through the heart. So you have to protect your heart and be diligent about protecting your heart, okay? And, and that's the place the enemy will attack. That's the place Satan will attack with the fiery darts. That's what they're called. The fiery darts of the enemy will pierce your heart. So pray that your heart is protected and always covered and guarded so that this kind of thing doesn't happen. And when it does happen, and it happens to all of us, just don't question it too much. You know, I had to get to the point when this happened to me last year. Um, when this happened to me last year, what I had to do was, I finally had to say, you know what? I, I This hurts. I really wish she wouldn't have done this to me. Um, but I, I just have to let it go. I just, just say, you know what? I'm not perfect. Maybe, maybe, maybe I did mess up. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I did something I should have, shouldn't have, but it was a mistake. And I will ask God to forgive me for whatever I did of my part in that relationship where there was betrayal and say, God, I, I didn't mean to do whatever I did to hurt this person who betrayed me. If I did anything to hurt them, please forgive me. And then most importantly, when this comes to betrayal, you've got to forgive yourself. Okay, don't, don't beat yourself up and say, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do this? If I wouldn't have done this, they wouldn't have betrayed me. They wouldn't. Have. You got to stop beating yourself up. You got to say, you know what? Everybody makes mistakes. I guess, you know, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I had something to do with this situation. And, and then you let it go. You just have to forgive yourself, forgive them, and let it go. Those two things. Forgive yourself, forgive them, and let it go. I guess that's three things. And don't dwell on it. Don't keep, you know what, if it's meant to be, you say, God, if it's meant to be for this relationship to repair, I trust you're going to heal my heart, and it's going to repair if you want it to. But if, if it, this relationship doesn't come back around and it doesn't repair, then I trust God, you know what's best for me, and you are keeping me. You are keeping me from more pain and more hurt and more sorrow that would have happened if I would have kept in this relationship. So you gotta trust God knows what's best for you and he wants to keep you and protect you from something worse happening. Is that right? Yeah. Okay guys, someone pointed out to me that this my live has gone over an hour, so forgive me that I didn't get to all of your questions. We will meet up with you next week, next Sunday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I hope to be able to answer all your questions at that time. All right, guys, live true, love hard, shine bright.